Hey, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be trying to um, show you how I curl my dirty hair. Yeah, so it's been about a week and a half since I last washed my hair and I'm probably like four weeks post relaxer or something like that and it's really really rainy here in the UK Today I went out just with my hair in a in a low ponytail um, and I'm going out tonight so I don't want it my hair just to be like kind of drab and stuff just how it is. Last night I watched a tutorial on Delise Moses, Moses, hopefully I'm saying that right, I'll link her down below and um, she inspired me to kind of try and do this, um, this style so I'm, I want to curl my hair today but not using any heat at all. I ideally wanted to go out and buy another product but weather's been crazy and I've been busy today so I'm just going to use what I already have and hopefully I'll get some good results. So because I'm going to be curling it without heat you do need to add some moisture to your hair so if you've got a leave-in conditioner spray you can use that or a um, leave-in conditioning cream would work even better. But I've just got a conditioning spray and then some serum that I'm going to use. So it's really, really simple and I'm just going to be parting my hair into four sections. I want to wear the style with a side part. So I've gone ahead and given myself a centre part because it will look best when I switch the part in later on. As opposed to um, having my hair tonight exactly with the part in that I'm going to use now. And you'll see what I mean when I take my hair down. So I'm going to start with this front section here. I've taken a quarter of my hair. And I'm just going to spray the ends with the conditioning spray. I don't want my hair to be too wet, but just malleable. And I'm going to put a pea-sized amount of this serum. I'm going to run that through the front of my hair. I'm going to smooth down the front of my hair just to make sure all the flyaways are going to sit nicely. And then I'm going to twist my hair. So not in a twist, but I'm twisting the hair, if you know what I mean, and eventually it will start to go into like a bantu knot and if you have long hair like me you really need to keep the tension on your hair and make sure that the whole length of that hair gets twisted otherwise the ends are just going to be really straight So once it's all twisted up, I'm going to secure that with a hairband. Okay, so then at this stage I would say just make sure that all the fronts of your hair smooth down. And I'll just give you a closer look at that. And then I'm going to put on my headscarf. I'm going to just put mine around the perimeter of my head because I'm not going to sleep if you're going to sleep obviously you want to cover your whole head but I'm going to leave this for three hours so I'll show you the results so it's been about three hours and I'm going to take off my headscarf now 
So I was just like chilling, did my makeup and stuff like that. You can see all the front, front area of my hair is completely smoothed down. And kind of this bun back here, it did actually feel like it was coming out. So I looped the elastic around it a few more times just to secure it. You can see now it's kind of held. I'm going to take down all the elastics and then the hair. Just to make sure I can get them all out. And what I'm hoping for is that I'm going to be able to wear my hair in a nice wave. I feel like if you use a creamy conditioner, a uh, leave-in conditioner, then it's going to cool your hair quite tight. But you can see they're really maintaining their, their shape. So just being careful, I'm going to split this back curl into three sections and this front piece is quite big so I'm going to split that in half again so I split the back into four sections I'm going to kind of do the same with the with the front That is the finished look. You can see that my hair's got lots of texture and it's um, looking like it's completely revamped without using any heat. So this is the finished look. I've finished um, just manipulating my hair and I added some shine serum just to the ends and I've pinned this half back behind my ear. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.